Now we play him. When I finish with them, there'll be nothing left to bury. Wow! Oh! Oh, oh Reince is cleaning up, man. Jeez. Defender next. We can actually kill that now, Rince. Wow! Look at that value, man! If we get Dead Man's Tongue, we can we can make it work nice. I believe we'll pull Dead Man's Tongue at this time. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I'll keep saying it again and again. Ask and you shall receive. It's exactly how we play it. I called it too. Yes, it does intensify under such um, conditions. I could understand that. Legends, welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, please do so now. My next objective is to reach 6,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. For today, I've put together a clog list for you. We are going to be playing Reince and also Colgrim. So the overall idea with the strategy of this deck is to put as many cards as possible in your opponent's decks while thinning as many from ours. And that way Colgrim and Reince will play for the most value as possible. Leader ability that we're using is Imprisonment, lock an enemy unit and damage it by three. We want to be really aggressive with the control we assert with this deck. I think round control is very important, which is why I've gone for Imprisonment Leader. You can use it round one in this case to help get round control and clog further into the subsequent round after playing into it. So the stratagem that we're using is Magic Lamp. Transform into Lamp Gen. This is this token unit that you see here. Obviously, this is when we go first. I've, using, I've used Magic Lamp as a stratagem because I think getting a few more points on the board is very important considering the strategy of our deck. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it during a match. So to begin with, at the bottom of this list, we've got two Tony Jousts. Remove an enemy unit's shield, damage it by four. Give an allied unit a shield, boost it by four. With Tony Jousts, they're just fillers in this provision slot. Um, some things to keep in mind with these cards is that they help make fur cut more consistent in our deck we need specials for fur card in addition to that we do need some options for dead man's tongue so usually what i like to do to be honest is leave either two tony joust in deck or the imperial diplomacy that you see here in our deck for dead man's tongue to thin out and um <laughs> since we're on imperial diplomacy now it allows you to create and play a bronze card from your opponent's faction so once again these four provision tactics that you see down here, they're more so just consistency for Fur Card and Dead Man's Tongue. You don't necessarily have to play them out, but you can as well. So I've added um, Vile in this deck for a particular reason. What I think is that obviously it plays at good value at four provision cost. It's boosting by four, giving vitality four. So eight for four is pretty good in value. What I like to do with Vile is try to save it when I play Defender because it's very important for Defender to stick to protect Reince and Colgrim. So say if your Defender is getting damaged down, you can use Vile on it, boost it back up. You could even boost Reince back up in some situations with this. And also our deck is kind of reactive in that we need our opponents to have units on their side of the board to clog them. And we've got some adrenaline conditions that require us playing into the round. 
So <clears throat> this can make playing into rounds a little less awkward for us. You could open up proactively, let it sit, see what your opponent does. So uh, you could play it anytime, but as I said, th those are kind of optimal ways of using it. We have two Mage Assassins in this deck. These cards are to be kept in our deck at all times. And what happens is they're going to be getting thinned out through the Blight Makers that we have, which is these cards here. You play both Blight Makers out round one and you select the Mage Assassin from your deck. Mage Assassin will come out to the board, do two points of random damage. We're playing the Blight Maker package with the Mage Assassins because it makes um, Reince better in the control he can commit through his ability and it makes Colgrim better too. As I said, we're going for maximum thinning with this list. Um, so Blight Makers also give us good tempo to help get round control, maybe to help push in round two as well. So feel free to use Blight Makers out round one as long as Mage Assassins are in your deck. Um, for the clogging aspect of our strategy in terms of placing more cards in our opponent's deck We get into that side of things now. We've got two Viper Witches here Give Bleeding 2 to an enemy unit. We're looking to play this card on Adrenaline 6 If it's not a token spawn a base copy of that unit at the top of the opponent's deck So the idea is that with Viper Witcher you want your opponent to play their cards out and you want to target um, kind of non-valuable cards to place back into the deck. Bearing in mind that if you're placing cards back into the opponent's deck, they may be able to access them or get them in the next round. So you want to give them bricks as much as possible and nothing good that they could synergize with well. These could be played out round one and round um, two most effectively. We also have coded weapons here. Damage an enemy unit by five. It does offer us some control too. Death Blow, if it wasn't a token, banish it and spawn a base copy of it on top of the opponent's deck. Just like the Witcher that I just showed you, keep in mind we want to play coded weapons the same way, except coded weapons is more flexible because it doesn't have an adrenaline condition. Basically, we want to do all our clogging as much as possible round one, round two latest. So keep that in mind. We do have one Viper Witcher Mentor. At six provision, I think this card can play for really good value. We're looking to play it on the Adrenaline 2 condition. Set the power of this card to match the provision cost of the highest cost card in your opponent's deck. So bear in mind, Viper Witcher plays great in these kinds of decks because of the clogging we're doing. There's a good chance that the opponent won't get to their gold cards. So they'll have some very important cards left in their deck somewhere. And then playing Viper Witcher Mentor on Adrenaline 2, you could get the value of that boost right there. Um, giving you added assist in getting round control round one. It could help you with a nice final say to the end of a match or round two on the bleed. Viper Witcher Mentor is pretty consistent in our deck. You can play it any time really. So yeah, we explained the Blight Makers. We're playing them round one to help get tempo and give us thinning. We've got Rico in here. Whenever opponent plays a unit while Rico is in your hand or deck, set his power equal to that unit's power. We really have Rico in here only for one purpose, and that is because we're playing Rinse. So we always want to keep Rico in deck, and most likely what will happen is that we'll utilize Rico either round two or three. Three would be at most optimal because we're most likely to have Rico pop up when we play Rinse as an option. And what's going to happen is when you play Rinse, you'll be selecting Rico, sending Rico to the graveyard, and then damaging a unit on the board with Rico's power. So that's how we look into use Rico in this deck. It's a specific combination with Rinse, and I'll go over it in a second when we get to Rinse. So basically, always keep Rico in your deck. Per card, play a special card from your hand, then you're drawing a card. Whenever you play a special card, give spying to a random non-spying enemy unit. Per cut gives us extra thinning and can help us reach further into our deck. Feel free to play at any time really that you like. You could use um, Fur Cut into coded weapons, for example. Um, this card down here that you see that we explained earlier. So you could use him round one, that's fine. Basically, keep in mind, we want to do the majority of our thinning and clogging round one. Nickers gives us more thinning. 
um as we have less cards in our hand the opportunity for knickers to come out onto the board from our deck increases so bear in mind you always want to keep knickers in your deck as much as possible cynthia spawn the guardian and place it on at the top of your opponent's deck the guardian is that token unit that you see there cynthia is a nice round one card because it's a gold you get to draw out roach from our deck right away and it gives clogging it messes up the opponent's consistency of their list go ahead and play this round one at best round two latest then moving on we have dead man's tongue dead man's tongue helps to give us tempo and thinning we're going to be banishing a bronze card is what we're looking to select two bronze cards when we play this and as i said the options at best for us would be imperial diplomacy and the tourney joust we want to banish a combination of two of these together play dead man's tongue out around one we've got location card in here resilience so if you don't use the order ability it carries on to the next round when you play this card out you get to play a variety of cards one of your choice you get the viper witcher adept this card uh, the next one that you see there and also the viper witcher i like location into round two because it can help with the bleed help with the proactive kind of play maybe you want to go and get a nice engine with the viper witcher adept maybe you're close to adrenaline range you could play the viper witcher mentor for very good value at adrenaline two or you could clog further in some cases so like i said i think location is nice round two when you play it look to play um a poor card from your opponent's graveyard back on top of their deck so you clog them further and you make colgrim even better okay then we've got colgrim here adrenaline one at the end of your turn boost self by the difference between the number of cards in players decks colgrim is a card you're going to play when you're looking to 2-0 the opponent or it's at the very end of a match okay within adrenaline range and this is the whole reason why our deck is built this way with aspects of clogging with aspects of thinning it's to increase colgrim's boost so we really want to ensure that we're playing colgrim behind defender um obviously because we're doing a double colgrim strategy here if colgrim gets answered letho won't play for match value so defenders very much kept for colgrim and reeds and it will be giving protection to those cards when we play them like i said you're either going to play this combination of cards out round two looking to 2-0 or you reserve it for a short round three and then what we'll be doing obviously is just stacking letho reeds and colgrim behind defender at that time roach gives us extra consistency in this deck it's a thinning card it comes out from our deck to our board so always keep roach in your deck at all times whenever you play a gold card it gets summoned from your deck to a random allied row so as you can see it gives us extra points as well to help get round control round one then to further ensure we get round control i've got ring of favor in here this card's always starting in our hand boost an allied unit by three is where it starts at while in hand at the end of your turn increase the boost by two the idea of this card is that you want to play it as your very last play round one once you've committed everything else out that you can to get max value out of it and i'm quite sure this really makes our list very consistent in what it can achieve and get around control bear in mind the way this list is formulated by the end of a match we will have zero cards in our deck um keeping in mind if this card banishes if we don't get to play it out if we play this card out we'll have one card in deck by the end of our match considering all thinning that we have in this list letho kingslayer transforms into a base copy of a unit without changing his power the idea is quite simple with letho what you're going to look to do is after playing colgrim your final play of the match would most likely be letho kingslayer into colgrim again and getting a great boost if not bear in mind you have a backup with letho kingslayer you could perhaps go for another Reince and use Reince's order ability as a control option, or you could go for another defender in some cases. And then finally, we have Reince. The deploy is that you look at the top three units in your deck, moving one to your graveyard, then destroy an enemy unit with a power equal to that unit's power. Okay, let's discuss that first part of his ability. Basically, what you want to do is 
in the round that you're going to commit Reince and Colgrim, first open up with Defender, okay? So we make sure Reince is safe with his order ability. And what you're going to do with Reince is you're going to wait till your opponent plays a good unit of good value down. And then as they play that unit down, remember Rico. Um, Rico's power will be adjusted to that unit's power. And then that's when you're going to play Reince and you select Rico and you destroy that unit. So keep in mind, Reince is pretty much a control card. It gives us two control options for the value of one card, which is really good. So you're destroying a card through the deploy. And then through the order, set the power of a unit to match the number of cards in your deck. Like I said, we're either going to have one card in deck or no cards. So in some cases, you can completely destroy a um, unit of your opponent's. So what you'd want to do with the order really is wait till your opponent has a unit with tall power, something that's highly boosted. At the end of a match, you could greet it if it's safe to do so. And then you just select that unit and completely destroy it. Now that I've run you through the list, let me explain how to execute the strategy for this deck. So round one, what we want to do is prioritize all of our clogging and all of our thinning and same with round two. So you're really free to go ahead and commit cards such as the Viper Witches, Coded Weapons, Blight Makers, Fur Cart. Um, we want to get Nickers out, Roach. You want to play Cynthia, Dead Man's Tongue. Obviously, you're playing Ring Out. And into round two, whatever you've got left over in aspects of thinning and clogging, continue to play it. You play your Blight Maker package out. You can play Location. You utilize Location. You can definitely 2-0 with this list. If not, you can go for a short round 3, reserving Defender, um, Reince, Letho, and whatever else you have remaining. Okay? So, the idea is that we want round control. We want to push hard for that. We want to bleed with this deck and finish in a short round 3, I believe, removing as much consistency from the opponent's list as possible. I hope you're going to enjoy the following matches and thanks very much for your time and support. <laughs> Colgrim's what peak performance looks like. <laughs> it was hilarious. The very first match of the stream, um, my vial came out, the opponent's vial came out, and then they looked through my deck and they just forfeited. <laughs> <laughs> you should go back and watch um, the replay of my stream. I was laughing my ass off. Easy wins. Pikeman? Alright. Well, the, the problem is for us, this is melee row locked. I have to play it there. I can't really escape that, can I? Unless I want to play it late or something, I don't know. Either way, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They come pretty hard with their pikemen already, early. They really want that round control. They will dance to our beat, sing to our tune. <laughs> Something like that, Ritzy. They're doing great. Well done. The problem is the units are armored, so we don't get that damage value out of leader. Otherwise, I might have felt more comfortable committing a bit more. That's pretty good points, yeah. This shit, a fine vintage it would have made. Your life was worth a great deal, my lord. 
Clogged one? Really? It's interesting. Got it for 11, six. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome to the KG army. As it continues to expand, We'll soon take over YouTube. Target acquired. Defeat them with hunger, crush them with thirst. Bessie's NG reveal? No. How'd it go? Which card did he reveal? Yennefer's gone, that's good. So, why did they go for Cynthia? So they're not playing illusionist with this with the pikeman? We didn't see Calvate. We gotta put Rico back. Oh Blightmakers is good now if they push. They probably should push, they got leader. Give some good points. For the Emperor. Clogging me back, man. Nice. Well done, friend. Playing exceptionally well. Probably shouldn't have played at melee row in case they got more pikemen. I do have lock though. Cross Bowman. Does Reince come out here? He might. What do we have in deck though? One, two, three. Time for a rematch, Lady Yennefer. We could boost the one up. And damage it? Maybe I just go for for damage points. Yeah. Inhale. 
Come on, mentor. Great. Right, right. Has to be Colgram. Illusionist? Watch close. Oh, should we just go? Wait, what's better? What's better now? We probably want to save Colgram still, eh? Yeah, we'll save him. We got Defender, we got Colgram. But the thing is, they have been clogging us back. It's not as effective here. It's still gonna play like okay. If we get Dead Man's Tongue, we can we can make it work nice. I believe we'll pull Dead Man's Tongue at this time. Ah <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, I'll keep saying it again and again. Ask and you shall receive. It's exactly how we play it. I called it too. Yes, it does intensify under such um, conditions. I could understand that. It's his chair. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm probably just better off going like this here. Right, it should play good. Adrenaline too, yeah? Oh, ho, ho. yeah, straight up, man. Damn. I say we just get this out of the way. Nice. <laughs> you are dogs, and I shall treat you as such. I demand justice. Trial by ordeal. Easy. No stench for what foul and flesh match are. Do that. Do that. Nice. Easy. Frost. Okay. We don't really have our points, tempo points in hand. Blight makers aren't here. <laughs> it's pretty good to clog. New purple SK card. A lot of pirate support now. It's going to be really interesting. So they've made more cards with like Arnegard's kind of ability. Clash, or whatever it's called. Your it's pretty cool.
Good, Nickers is out. We could clog the three. Got to be careful not to hit the four again, because obviously they could play him back out. We could use Witcher here. Jack Sparrow? <laughs> sure, why not? Throw him in there, man. We'll make it work somehow. So it's actually my first time playing Rince with this list. Right? What's better than a dead noble? Two dead nobles. The knights, yep. And not broken. <laughs> the knights are a great addition. I definitely like the direction of the expansion. You know, they're reviving kind of forgotten archetypes and styles of play. But, you know, as me as a monster player, man, seeing Thrive with all that new support, I love it. So cool. Koshi is probably like one of my favorite cards to play too in monsters, so we're looking forward to it. No worries, take care of yourself. That's interesting. My eyes will pierce both your hearts and Yeah. Hearts. What's Ring giving us? Eleven. So if all thinning occurs in this deck. We actually have zero cards by the end of a match, which is pretty good for Reince. Thank you, appreciate it. I think it's going to be great in a short round with Koshi. And even that um, Sir Scratch a lot, I think that's its name, that cat card. <laughs> I like it, man. It's, it's got immunity. You can let it sit for a bit. I got some ideas for sure. Can't wait to play them. I just got my eyes on monsters so far, but you know, obviously, I'll try them all out. I'll get around to all of them. Wow, it's Nithril? Well, that's something. A fine vintage you have made. They could purify if you lock it and um, let it sit there, so it's probably better to just kill it off completely. While I can. It's on four. It's better to be on the winning one. Yeah, so many new scenarios. Wow. So Heatwave's going to become like a really consistent card in terms of everyone using it in their lists, I think. You're always going to find a lot of value in, in Heatwave next season. Double cross is going to be pretty crazy. Nilfgaard assimilate decks. It's going to be nuts, man. Nuggle far. Okay, so they're doing a bit of thinning here. Naivety is a fool's 
Lord's blessing. Goes Imlareth. Rico's on 16. The question is, could you find him? Five. Maybe we don't have to go digging for it right now. Angulim? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be crazy, man. Her and a simulate deck's gonna be nuts. <laughs> Boat! Where you been? I haven't seen you in ages. Yeah, they're pushing a bit hard here. That could take some of the frost damage. I can't really clog anything here, can I? Like effectively. Because we're giving them good stuff. When I finish with them, there'll be nothing left to bury. Let's do that. to play it like that there to get out of that situation i didn't really have too many good cards to rely on for points outside of that mate you know i'm gonna say monsters <laughs> i'm biased as hell dude <laughs> oh man Lights. Right, right. Not really good at all, is it? It's kind of awkward for us to open up here, though. So we could kill the engine. We could also boost this. I mean, they're going to keep getting value out of that consistently. Let's do that. So we get to clog one more time. And thin. Colgram will be decent. I think. Yo, Flo, what's up, brother? Nice to see you, my man. Oh, yeah. Love monsters. It's got to be my favorite to play. You guys know, I love the game, but... Monsters just feel so natural to me to play. Are you cold, human insect? It won't be long now. Your life. 
life was worth a great deal of work. Take comfort in that. Let's hope they didn't get to their better cards. And mentor should play for good points. Damn it, it's gonna die. The frost would have been better if it landed here. Ah, uh, you caught it. Sorry to hear that, man. Hope you rest up well, dude. Stay strong, brother. Remember, the Gwent community needs you. Oh, yes! Yeah! Check out that boost, man. Six provisions. Hitting 12. That's freaking huge. That's great, man. I should be stacking here, eh? Damn you all! Why would I kill a child? Here we go! Should be a win. He survives. I demand justice. Nice. By ordeal. Good, good. Not bad at all. Definitely don't want Nickers in hand. Mage, Assassin, no. Cynthia's good. You love Colgrim? Sick. Cynthia is a great way to open up, so let's start like that. I like Thirty-two card Colgrim, and slave seven. <laughs> I haven't played it, nah. Never. You reckon I should? I could kill it off. I could get it like this. They will dance to our feet. Sing to our tune. Dead Man's Tongue's pretty good. I've really seen that deck played, hey? Doesn't always work. Do we want to put that back on top of their deck? Maybe we do. So maybe I just go a long round against Invigorate. Focus on having last say. Because we got Rinse. So we just really got to focus on winning first round. Your life was worth a great deal, my lord. Take comfort. And just clog them until then. Sultan Warrior?
I got good points. Are we passing on five then? Thirteen. And they've got these engines. Maybe just pass on five. See what they do. Had some solid engines there. That pointed us. Definitely don't want Nickers in hand. Blightmakers would be good to help resist the bleed. Didn't get him. Dead Man's Tongue's pretty good for points too. Just so we don't get a card down. I'm not getting my magic right now, no. <laughs> it's gonna change. Yeah, it's pass. Okay. What's up, Ritzy? How are you? Alright. Let's see how we go on a long round. Like I said, we do have control options with this deck. That's gonna be a way. Okay. Not bad. So, I could even open up with Defender. Behold, new God's iron might. Victory is on the wind. <laughs> Everyone's saying I'm going to the dark side, man. Come on, guys. <laughs> I play everything. I haven't played Colgan for ages, though. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Could start like this. So we're gonna get Dead Man's Tongue on these two. We'll have one card left in deck. We can clog that. <laughs> Stay away from children. Ooh, Pella. Pella's good there for them.
Yep, we're running Gonta. Why not? Probably using coded weapons here. Or if they play, um, is it called Hawker Smuggler? Melee Roadlocked Unit, boost the hand. I think everything's done, Bird. Just about, it should be. Tris Butterflies. I'm trying to wait for something big to get deployed for Reince. You know, I could even go Letho into Defender on this occasion. Because I'm just worried about the control they may have. And, I'll behave, I promise. and then we play Reince when they play something really good. What's up, you legend? How are you? Welcome. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we play him. When I finish with them, there'll be nothing left to bury. Wow! Oh! Oh, oh Reeds is cleaning up, man. Jeez. I'm just gonna greet it. It's gonna be monsters. Come on, let's get it. Focus on it. Yes. Quiet the noise in your head. Oh, wow. All right, man. Did you guys see Reeds there? He was crazy. 17. They got Curse Scroll. Um, are they playing like Muta Generator? Whatever it's called then. Why would they be playing that? We got some pretty sweet wins so far with this deck. We're in a nice little roll. First match we lost just by like a few points, and then the rest have been decent. <laughs> Is that four? Could just do this right away. Ooh, would I have a deck though? I'd kind of want to use Dead Man's Tongue on like these. I don't know. We'll have to see. See you, Suresh. Take care. Yeah, it is. Okay. So much carryover with this card. Their weakest round one, though. Defeat them with hunger. Crush them with thirst. I think ring should really help us in this situation. Bannering Ram. Go to hell, perverted 
Nice. I'll try to save our other leader charge. Drum off. Army's a waste of time for one more. Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. We got good tempo here. It's looking good for us. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of good ways for it to fit in different kinds of lists. I like to go for it, in all honesty. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, we can always fix that later. Uh, how should we go about this? Yeah, it wasn't that much for them, which is even better for us. Okay. We could um, kill that off with coated weapons. So far, we're doing pretty good. I, li I like this variation of this Colgrim Marine stack that I put together because, as you see, we've got a lot of flexibility with control too. It's not like just a greedy kind of style where he's all in on Colgrim. I think that's why it's playing so consistent for us. So this is Adrenaline 6, isn't it? Yep. Maybe I just focus on clogging and then we'll pass. Play Dead Man's Tongue. Alright. What they got in here? that Parties believe what we need to flee this world that's a great pass point so they're clogged and we're getting card advantage. Right. Let's hope they don't get scenario. Easy. Getting everything we need, man. No problems. Perfect draw. So consistent, this list. It's fantastic. Oh, crap. Maybe I delay Defender. I 
I pass on every tenth round. Play the bronze next. The bronze witcher, the far left. In one piece, fight for it. Might want to kill that with rains. Defender next. We can actually kill that now, Rains. Value, man. It's incredible. That's so good. <laughs> oh, man, it's so good. All right. Your life was worth a great deal, my lord. Take comfort. Yeah, it's great. Reince is freaking solid, dude. He's a sick guard. Love him. Love this deck, it's so enjoyable to play. Squirrel, good sign for us. Ah, right, so we're doing this first in this case. Um, yeah, should be like that. Ooh, he didn't play big this time. Yeah, he's sick. But anyway, Colgrim and Letho is pretty much going to do the deal. We got the points, I'm quite sure. Yeah, exactly. Wow, solid deck, guys. It's a solid deck. We're doing really good with this. What a winning spree. Oh, my days.